Hey, it's Paul with Wondershare Doctor Phone, your ultimate smartphone solution. And today we'll be sharing a helpful checklist that should guide you when you're resetting your iPhone. Before we get into it, if you want more tutorials and how-to videos like these, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell so you stay up to date with our latest uploads. So here's what you need to keep in mind before you start resetting your iPhone. Let's start by discussing the differences between an iPhone hard reset, an iPhone soft reset, and an iPhone factory reset. Basically, depending on the kinds of issues that you're encountering or what you're trying to do with your reset, that's gonna determine the type of reset that you need to do. And depending on the severity of the problems that you're experiencing, you typically will start with a soft reset. If that doesn't work, you'll move on to a hard reset. And if that still fails, you will then have to use a factory reset. Now, of course, a factory reset is going to be your last effort in case all else fails, and that's because you're gonna to have to lose all the data from your phone. Keep that in mind before proceeding forward with these steps. And of course, no matter what problem you're experiencing, there's no harm in starting with a soft reset, so that's where we're gonna to begin today. And so if you just have an unresponsive phone, an app isn't working too well, or just overall your experience feels glitchy or slow, we're gonna go ahead and restart our devices. Now I have the iPhone 14 Pro, which does not have a home button, but we'll also be sharing the steps for older iPhones that still utilize the home button. So for our older iPhones, and that would be the iPhone 8 or earlier, which still have the home button, you'll press and hold the home button. For newer iPhones, that's the iPhone X and newer, you're gonna actually hold the power button and your volume up at the same time, like so. And then for all iPhones, you should see a similar screen pop up if you follow the steps correctly by sliding to the right under slide to power off that will allow us to turn off the phone. Keep in mind with iPhones, unlike certain Android phones, there isn't an option to automatically restart your device. So we'll be powering it off first and then turning it on manually afterwards. And that is considered a soft reset. Like I said earlier, this can be a great solution if your phone just feels slow, a little bit clunky, or some things just aren't really working too well, it's a great solution to start with. Now let's say our iPhone is so slow or unresponsive that the previous steps we showed don't work. What can we do? In this situation, we'll need to perform a hard reset, which is basically the same thing as a soft reset, except we're gonna be forcing the iPhone to continue the process even if the screen is unresponsive. The steps do differ a bit depending on which devices you have, so let's start if you have an iPhone 8 or later. You'll press on your volume up button and then release, hold on your volume down button, and then hold on your power button until the Apple logo appears on your screen. For an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, you hold the volume down button and the power button at the same time until that Apple logo appears on screen. And then lastly, if you have an iPhone 6 or older, you'll hold the power button and the home button at the same time until the Apple logo appears. Now, depending on the issues that you were experiencing with your iPhone, a hard reset might be enough to get things working properly again. If not, it might be time to start considering a factory reset. Again, it's very important before you actually start a factory reset to back up the data on your device as this process will wipe out everything from your phone. If you want, you can use Apple's native tools, including iCloud or iTunes to back up your phone. And if you want additional features and control over the backups that you make for your phone, we offer our Doctor Phone backup tool. So now we'll be going over the various ways that you can reset your iPhone, both with and without a passcode. To begin with, we're gonna show you how you can factory reset your iPhone with a passcode. To do this, navigate to settings, click general, and then scroll to the very bottom where you'll see the option to transfer or reset your iPhone. If you want, you can start by hitting reset, and then depending on some of the problems you're experiencing, one of these options might do the trick. If not, we'll go ahead and proceed with erase all content and settings. On your screen, you'll see a confirmation of all the things that will be erased and lost from your phone. Again, this is where a previous backup is very essential so you can recover this data afterwards. If all of that looks good to you, you have your backup and you're ready to proceed with the reset, click continue. At this point with your iPhone reset and a fresh install begins, hopefully all your problems are solved. For our next method, we'll show you how to factory reset your iPhone without a passcode using Dr. Phone Screen Unlock for iOS. Dr. Phone Screen Unlock is a simple to use yet very effective tool that allows you to reset your iPhone while unlocking its passcode. 
And so if you're trying to reset your iPhone, but you've forgotten your passcode, this is gonna be a great tool for you. So let's show you how Dr. Phone can help you reset your iPhone without the need for a passcode. First, download and install Dr. Phone on your computer and look for the screen unlock option. Then connect your iPhone to the computer using its cable. On the next screen, select unlock iOS screen. You'll now follow on-screen instructions to put the iPhone into its recovery or DFU mode. As your iPhone gets put into its recovery or DFU mode, Dr. Phone will show you the device model on the next screen. You'll then select the system version and click start. Dr. Phone will then begin downloading and installing the firmware on your iPhone that you selected. Once that completes, you'll see the option of unlock now from the next screen. Select this option to start the process of unlocking your iPhone. For our third method, we'll show you how you can use the Find My iPhone feature to reset your iPhone without a passcode. Not a lot of people know this, but the Find My tool is actually a native way to reset your iPhone. Before proceeding, your iPhone already has to be associated and logged in with your Apple ID and password. Start by going to iCloud.com and logging in with your Apple ID. You'll then see the option of Find My iPhone. All of your devices associated with your Apple ID will then be listed. Select the iPhone that you wish to reset. You'll then see the option to erase iPhone. And then if this process works correctly, your iPhone should get the signal to remotely reset itself. Next, we can also reset our iPhone without a password using iTunes. If your iPhone is synchronized with iTunes, we can use the following steps. With iTunes installed on your computer, connect your iPhone using its lightning cable. Open iTunes and click the iPhone icon to access the summary section of your device. This will open a pop-up where you then have the option to click reset iPhone. Confirm that you wanna complete this restore process and wait until it completes. If a backup has been completed by iTunes previously, it will reset the device and restore data from that last backup. For our fifth method, we'll show you how you can use recovery mode on your iPhone to reset the device without a password. This method is a little bit trickier, but we'll show you how you can do it. If you're using a PC, you'll wanna open iTunes, and if you have a Mac, you'll wanna open the Finder app. As each iPhone model is a little bit different, you're gonna to wanna to follow the steps for your specific model to put it into recovery mode. Once your iPhone is in recovery mode, you'll see that displayed on your screen. Only then will you connect your iPhone with its lightning cable to either your computer or your Mac. And if you properly put your phone into recovery mode, either your Mac or iTunes will prompt you to restore your device. You'll wait for that process to be completed and hopefully then you have a working iPhone. Now here's something that you should consider whenever you factory reset your phone, especially if you plan on selling or giving it away to another user. Sometimes the data can still linger on the device even when a factory reset is complete. And so if you wanna securely sell or give your phone to another user, you wanna ensure that that data is completely erased from your phone before doing so. Using tools like Dr. Phone can help make that happen. Using Wondershare Dr. Phone Data Eraser for iOS, you can erase all kinds of data from your device. This also includes the index data from your iPhone to make sure nothing is lingering around. And using our tool, we offer three levels of data eraser to ensure that your data is kept safe. Lastly, let's discuss what we can do for our iPhone to fix it if all the restore processes that we tried don't work. Unfortunately, sometimes the problem is just a little bit more severe and you need to use better tools in order to get the problem resolved. We can use Dr. Phone System Repair for iOS to help resolve some of these issues, even if they can't be fixed when resetting them. Here's some of the steps that you can follow. Launch Dr. Phone and then select System Repair. We'll then select iOS as we're using an iPhone. You'll then see the option for iOS Repair. You'll then see a list of the general problems that the Dr. Phone tool can help you fix. Even if your problem is not listed, you can click Repair Now. Select Standard Mode. From the next screen, you'll then follow the on-screen instructions to put your phone into recovery mode. You can also use the guide to recovery mode to follow along with if you're unaware of how to put your phone into its recovery mode. You'll then see a list of different firmware options that we can download for your device. Select the desired firmware and click download. Once the download completes, click repair now to install the firmware on your iPhone. And once that completes, fingers crossed, you now have a working iPhone. So that has been our complete and in-depth guide to resetting your iPhone, depending on the issues that you're experiencing. 
and some of the best ways that you can get your iPhone fixed. Hopefully one of these methods has gotten things fixed for you. Let us know in the comments down below which you used and why. Thank you again for checking out this video. This has been Paul with Dr. Phone. Again, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos like this. And until the next one, we'll catch you later.